Hey YouTube, we have iPad Pro second generation 11 inch here, which has no power, model number A2068. What we have is just five volt in the charger and no power draw. Comparing it to the fully working iPad. If you plug it in, you're gonna see 15 volt in charging, okay? So, let me unplug it again. And here we have nothing. So we're going to be diagnosing and see what's going on. It's been open before, so let me unplug the screen and see what's happening. The port has been replaced by the previous shop. It did not fix the problem. So we're going to see what could be our issue. Let me disconnect the battery real quick. Okay, so let's take this off and we're going to try to inject 4.1 volt into the main it's actually going to insert it and uh, we're going to inject it in the uh, battery connector let's see what we have so we're going to uh, try to inject uh, 4.1 4.1 volt into the battery terminal and see if we have uh, an issue with the charging on this ipad or or the issue is somewhere down the line make it clear I'm going to be ins injecting the voltage into this uh, capacitor right here because obviously I cannot have access to the bottom of the board at this moment so this capacitor will do the job so that's where we go into inject 4.1 volt okay so I'm injecting the voltage right now and nothing really happens there's no draw but I'm gonna try to press the power button and see what draw do we have so it's right now you, you can't see it but I'm just telling you what I see here it's 4.10 draw I'm gonna press the power button let me see and we have 1.3 draw so as soon as I press the power button, I'm getting 1.337 amperage draw on the power supply. You probably hear, you probably do hear the, the sound of it turning on. It's 1.3. So that means that we have a short somewhere down the line. So it powers, tries to power on and it draws too much amperage. So there's a there's some kind of a damage down the line. So let's see what we have, uh, what we can see on our thermal camera while I'm doing this. Okay, so inserting the voltage, pressing the power button and looking at the thermal camera. Okay, so we see that the power management IC is heating up. And also there is a little bit heat on the CPU. As you can see, the CPU is heating up a little bit and the power management I see. Okay. So let's see the let's take a look closer where exactly on power management I see we see heat. in this area right on that side what about the cpu here okay so let's check check it out and see uh where the short is because the short is supposed to be somewhere in that area of the circuit so let's check um the, the multimeter and see if we can find any shorted lines and in, uh, in that area so i went and checked all these lines 
on the power management IC that could be heating up and the only line that I found that is in uh, in a partial short is this pp3v3 underscore USB which is related to USB port obviously so let's sh let me show you under under the camera see what I'm talking about here so this is the cap in question right here and you can see it's shown 122.9 volt okay so and that's in the area of of the heat coming from uh, PMIC so what we're gonna do now is we actually gonna ins inject 3.3 volts and see because we had two points of the heat it's power management IC and CPU and we're gonna test inject the 3.3 volt there I'm actually gonna inject 3 volt and see which which one is the culprit where the issue is power management IC or uh, or the CPU so we can test and see if uh, we need to remove the power management IC to remove the short so let's go ahead and do this and see how it goes okay so I'm gonna try to make this happen Hold on. okay as you can see power management IC is there it's not power management IC is not heating up but we do have heat coming out of the CPU so as you can see this line is actually shorted on the CPU side we have like 1.5 amps draw so what this means is our CPU is blown and this repair is kind of complete we didn't get to fix it because the CPU needs to be replaced and it's tied up to all other elements here and so it doesn't really make sense you know it's easier to replace the whole board on this iPad but uh, unfortunately this is a no fix in this case but uh, it's a very good practice and learning experience uh, figuring out what's going on and what's what's what needs to be replaced what needs to be removed so it's just a faster way without removing components to see uh, where the issue is in our case it's a CPU if it would be power manager that I see which would be you know uh, easily fixable but uh, CPU is a no-go basically at this point so thank you very much for watching guys uh, and have a lovely day please hit the thumbs up on the video uh, to help me grow the channel uh, I would really appreciate it thank you very much and please comment too thanks